will start with the new chapter named chemical thermodynamics now this is totally a new part that is coming in 12th standard so first to understand what is chemical thermodynamics you must know the definition of thermodynamics now here basically the word therma indicates heat therma means heat and dynamics means change so how do we define thermodynamics that it is the branch of chemistry that deals with energy changes which are taking place during physical and chemical changes we know that in chemistry we have two changes one is a physical change and another is a chemical change so during these changes whatever energy transformations are taking place whatever energy changes are taking place the study of that change that is change of energy is said to be thermodynamics now this thermodynamics is involving some new terms to you which must be known to you out of that the first term is said to be a system now how do we define a system a system is said to be the part of universe which is selected for thermodynamic study if in the lab i am heating water in a beaker that beaker becomes the system because i am heating i am bringing about a change in the energy so beaker becomes a system where we are doing the thermodynamic study if i am carrying out a reaction in test tube that test tube becomes the system because we are carrying out a thermodynamic study in the test tube now what is surrounding then system is the area where the part where thermodynamic study is taking place now surrounding can the word surrounding itself indicates that the remaining part of the universe except system system la sodun jeka remaining part ahe that is called as surrounding and from the two definitions it must be very clear that what is universe then you combine system with the surrounding you get universe so system madhe thermodynamic study honar ani rahilela part surrounding ase so system ani surrounding la combine kela then you get the universe now next part comes is the type of systems there are three types of systems mainly we have open system closed system and isolated system what is open system open word this indicates that the exchange of both matter and energy can take place with the surrounding for example for example if i have a cup of tea a cup of tea take an example of a cup of tea which is kept on the table this cup of tea is open so there can be exchange of energy energy ka sir because that tea is going to become cool after some time so the energy is getting exchanged with the surrounding the heat kuthe geli tea cool jali heat kuthe geli surrounding madhe geli so there is exchange of energy as well as matter matter can be exchanged you can add something into the tea you can add sugar into the tea because it's an open cup so here energy and matter both can be exchanged this type of system is called as open system next comes is closed system closed system madhe you will find that only energy can be exchanged but not the matter mark what example can you have same example you can have cup of tea but it is closed with lid present with lid it is closed with lid so when you have a cup of tea which is covered with a lid or a saucer you cannot exchange the matter you cannot add anything into it you cannot take out anything from that but the tea will become cold after some time this indicates that energy is getting exchanged but matter cannot be exchanged because the cup is closed with the lid this becomes a closed system and what is isolated system then in isolated system isolate isolate some meaning ka is to which is totally kept apart totally separated is said to be isolated system that means both matter and energy these cannot be exchanged with the surrounding energy 
जेवढी सिस्टमची आहे इट रिमेन्स दॅट मच ओनली अँड जे काय मॅटर आहे तो पण तितकाच राहतो दॅट कॅन नॉट बी एक्सचेंज विथ द सराउंडिंग दिस टाईप ऑफ सिस्टम इज कॉल्ड ॲज आयसोलेटेड सिस्टम सो एक्झाम्पल इज इन थर्मस फ्लास्क यू कॅन कीप टी टी प्रेझेंट इन अ थर्मस फ्लास्क बिकम्स एक्झाम्पल ऑफ अन आयसोलेटेड सिस्टम की यू हॅव केप्ट वॉटर ऑर टी वॉटर प्रेझेंट इन थर्मस फ्लास्क थर्मस फ्लास्क what is that containing a thermos flask contains insulating material inside that manun heat loss cannot take place so energy and matter that remains as it is it does not go into the surrounding this system is an isolated system next point is the properties of system of a system by like it is the it is the part where thermodynamic study is taking place thermodynamic change is taking place the system can be having either an extensive property or an intensive property so there are two types of properties of a system it can be an extensive property what is extensive property in a system when that system depends on amount of substance present a system is containing something system is containing maybe some chemical it is maybe containing water so whenever a system is depending on the amount of substance present that system has extensive property for example mass volume number of moles these are extensive property of a system mass आपण अमाउंट सबस्टन्सचा इन्क्रीज केला एका सिस्टममध्ये मी फक्त वन ग्रॅम सबस्टन्स घेतला आहे एका सिस्टममध्ये मी हंड्रेड ग्रॅम सबस्टन्स घेतला आहे तर मास चेंज झाला तर प्रॉपर्टी पण चेंज होती सच प्रॉपर्टीज अकॉर्डला सो मास इज अ प्रॉपर्टी विच इज अन एक्सटेन्सिव्ह प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अ सिस्टम वॉल्यूम मी वन एम एल घेतला रिॲक्शनच्या वेळेला लिक्विड ऑर असेल इन वन केस आय टेक टेन एम एल जे अमाऊंट वेरी झाला तर वॉल्यूम ही प्रॉपर्टी वेरी होती सो दिस टाईप ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी इज अन एक्सटेन्सिव्ह प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अ सिस्टम नंबर ऑफ मोल्स नंबर ऑफ मोल्स आपण मोल्स इन्क्रीज केले तर प्रॉपर्टी पण चेंज होणार वन मोलसाठी व्हॅल्यू वेगळी येणार आहे बट टू मोलसाठी मी व्हॅल्यू काढली तर ती चेंज होणार आहे सच प्रॉपर्टीज आर सेट टू बी एक्सटेन्सिव्ह प्रॉपर्टी दॅट इज द डिपेंड ऑन द अमाऊंट ऑफ सबस्टन्स what are intensive properties intensive property is a property of a system that does not depend on the amount of substance present that does not depend on the amount of substance amount thodi asli tari value tya property chi same yenar just amount getli tari value same yenar ata through examples it will be very clear temperature is a property of a system which is intensive property for example if i measure टेम्परेचर ऑफ हंड्रेड एम एल वॉटर मी एक बकेटमध्ये वॉटर बॉईल केलं आहे त्याच्यामधून मी हंड्रेड एम एल वॉटरचा टेम्परेचर मेजर केला आणि वन एम एल वॉटरचा टेम्परेचर मेजर केला तरी दोन्ही टेम्परेचर हे सेम येणार म्हणजे हिअर टेम्परेचर इज अ प्रॉपर्टी विच इज नॉट डिपेंडिंग ऑन द अमाऊंट सेम वे विस्कॉसिटी आता हनीची विस्कॉसिटी मी वन एम एल हनी घेऊन विस्कॉटसिटी मेजर केली किंवा मी टेन एम एल हनी घेतला आणि विस्कॉसिटीची व्हॅल्यू मेजर केली तरी द व्हॅल्यू विल कम आउट टू बी सेम सो विस्कॉसिटी इज अ प्रॉपर्टी विच इज इंटेन्सिव्ह प्रॉपर्टी इट डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन द अमाऊंट अमाऊंट मी चेंज केलं तरी त्याची व्हॅल्यू सेम होणार आहे एम पी बी पी मी मेल्टिंग पॉईंट मेजर करताना वी हॅव डन द एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ मेल्टिंग पॉईंट अँड बॉलिंग पॉईंट इन इलेव्हन्थ स्टँडर्ड इवन इफ आय टेक जस्ट 0.2 पॉईंट टू ग्रॅम्स ऑफ अ सबस्टन्स अँड फाइंड इट्स मल्टिंग पॉईंट ऑर आय टेक थ्री ग्रॅम्स ऑफ अ सबस्टन्स अँड फाइंड इट्स मल्टिंग पॉईंट द मल्टिंग पॉईंट विल कम आउट टू बी सेम इट विल नॉट हॅपन की मल्टिंग पॉईंट मी कमी घेतला सबस्टन्स म्हणून कमी आला आहे आणि मी जास्त घेतला सबस्टन्स म्हणून जास्त आला इट डज नॉट चेंज इट रिमेन्स सेम फॉर अ पर्टिक्युलर सबस्टन्स सो दिस इज अगेन अन इंटेन्सिव्ह प्रॉपर्टी विच डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन द क्वांटिटी ऑर द अमाऊंट ऑफ सबस्टन्स प्रेझेंट again refractive index is a type of intensive property so see the video pro- properly and 
read the things correctly